And tonight on Citizen Planet, we focus on technology use in forest conservation. A youth group in Eldorado has resorted to the use of drones to save the dwindling water towers and rejuvenate forest cover in a, on a large scale. Now, the technology monitors activities in the forest and around water catchment areas. Singling out encroached spaces and misplaced restoration interventions. The findings from the drone survey will inform corrective measures to be undertaken by the community and stakeholders in conservation as the country races against time to stop devastating climatic effects. Our, our environment, conservation and climate change features reporter Agnes Solo spent time with the group and filed the following report. As Kenya joined the globe in marking World Environmental Day, the year 2024, a section of Kenyan community has a glimpse of what the future might be holding for them, and I'm here to meet them. The drone takes flight minutes later as the humming sound fades away to a distinctive rattling as the machine hovering meters above and miles away along the ground, the survey begins. In Kiabor village, Keio South in Elgeo, Marakwet County, Nze Edwin Baraoi's home is a stone throw away from the riparian coverage of Kipsalen stream which feeds into River Sabor that flows from Kaptaraqua to Eldoret E10 and environs. But Kipsalen is however slowly fading away. <laughs> that close proximity to the tributary has seen Zebara Oi's farm enlisted into the drone restoration plan. <laughs> Nze Baraoi has been consistent in ensuring that springs here are preserved. Unknowingly, in some instances, he has been doing the right thing, but in the wrong way. Marked as a water catchment area in the survey plan, the drone was focused in this area code when it spotted the encroached space with cypress tree species which scientifically don't tolerate ground cover. Their findings show that the tree species have been drawing a lot of water from the catchment area and thus slowly driving the water springs to extinction. Baraoi's seven-year-old work will now go to waste as the cypress have to pave way for the right tree species in the water tower restoration process. This place is private and we have to work with the farmer. The drone comes now in handy to give us the state of the riparian because some riparian are not accessible. For instance, we've advised this farmer here to change the biodiversity of this place to plant trees that are suitable for for, for the catchment. Kilometers away in the neighboring Wasingishu County, we meet Esther Rono. Her home is one of the Kokwet village households in the upstream, which tap water direct from Sitoton Water Project in Kaftagat scheme for home and farm uses. The drone sports houses with or without gutters and surrounding water pans. The findings from the survey help inform families living around catchment areas on importance of tapping rainwater by connecting gutters to clean tanks and also construction of water pans to help them with home and farm uses. This ensures adequate water supply to families both upstream and downstream. All these community-led efforts have been made possible 
thanks to Eldoret Youth Drone Group which came into existence in June 2023. So kwa sababu tuko wengi na maji ni kidogo. Watu kambuni ya Waterpan waka, wakawa na waso ya kusema wacha to, to store maji. It's supposed to be on cadres. Haitakika ni hii ya uh, pipe. Hii yao zoli liko na 1,000 uh, 100,000 liters. Mm -hmm. So tukikuwa na watu kumi ambao wamechukua 100,000 liters, tukua tumesave maji liter milioni moja kwa the rivers. Na liter milioni moja uki translate into money to the water utilities, it's something that can supply a very big household downstream. When Stephen Kibet, a youth in the community, won a water fund grant with the Nature Conservancy, the award brought on board 30 youth for training, which saw 18 graduate with drone flying licenses. <laughs> 29-year-old mother of two Ruth Kimite, a supply chain management professional, resigned from her job to join the group in environmental restoration. It's been a journey. We've gone through many process, through class training, and up to here we are. We have graduated and licensed. Conservationists believe in making right the wrongs previously done to combat effects of climate change. For the past years, we've been uh, victims of landslide due to degradation, and I thought I could be the right person to educate our people on the need and the benefits of us conserving the environment. Watu wa sikuche kulima na ikilima pale juu inawekwa kama hile nyasi tulipewa juusi hiyo inasaidia sana teresi. Kuna teresi lipanyo hapa samani na watu wakrikacha. Walikuja wakachimba, watu tuka wajilia ikaribika. As the 2024 edition of World Environmental Day focused on land restoration, day certification and drought resilience, the drone drive, which is integrated into Eldoret E10 Water Fund Project, aims for massive ecosystem restoration to beat the climate crisis. Uh, we are supposed to conserve 3,500 hectares of farmlands. This one means private lands. And then we have 15,000 hectares of forest or the protected areas. We have a target of 300 kilometers of riparian. We want to uh, move this drone program to a level where they can even do more detailed analysis because basically right now they are collecting images and interpreting those images. The drone group has since been integrated into Eldoret E10 Water Fund initiated in the year 2022 in the environs of Eldoret and E10. Eldoret E10 Water Fund is among the four water conservation projects in Kenya aimed at protecting integrity and resilience of critical ecosystems and their services in the targeted water towers. Agnes Oloka Chola, Citizen TV.